Hey y'all, welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. Hi! I'm Liz, and T I'm Liz for you, oh, good. T-O-O-L-I-Z-Z-F-O-R-Y-O-U <laughs> on Instagram and Ravelry. And, and I'm Lord. Carolyn, I'm C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R on Instagram and Ravelry. And this is Knitting in, in Our Jeans. I think it's episode 17. I believe so. Yes. Um, we and also we have an Instagram for the podcast. Knitting in our jeans. Knitting in our jeans. Which is what I, I post on most often because once I have something set up, I'm sticking with it because I've already deleted myself once. So By accident. And then she created a new account for herself. <laughs> and of course, the best part was one of my best friends texted me going, your mother just refriended me on, or refollowed me on Instagram. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. She got confused. <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's nice that they're taking my age into consideration. So we try to. Yeah, we try, we try to. to. Okay. So you got something on your lap. I do have something on my lap, but why don't we talk about what we finished this week? I did it. Oh, I did okay. it. I finished the schlanket. It's, oh, it's not gorgeous. blocked yet, but it's it's beautiful. I think it'll. I hope it'll grow a little bit because it's. I think pretty it will. much. It's pretty much a general. You know. It's nice. You know, it's a general. I brought mine up so I can I show see. the the. Uh, Clue progress. one. No, just clue um, one. But yeah, so I did the pretty. bind off at knitting on Wednesday, and I'm very happy with it. Very um, nice. And speaking of Wednesday, we also are participating in the Yarn Love Challenge on Instagram, which is to post once a day um, under different themes. I posted that twice you, yesterday. I know. Yes. It's okay. Okay, so you're today? No, I think you posted four and five. Or no, did you post three and, three and four. four? Okay, I'll post five and six. I'll post today and tomorrow. Okay. Or we can post them together. Whatever. We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, um, we're doing that. And that started on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting to see him all over my Instagram feed. And then if you look at the, the tag, it's really interesting to see how many people are getting involved in it. I and it's, I put a tag. I think you did. Oh, well. If not, I will go and fix all right. it. We'll figure it out. Speaking of, I don't know where my cell phone is. Eh, oh, well. I'm sure it's here because you texted me. I know. I'm pretty sure it's in my coat downstairs. Mm, okay. Oh, well. Um, but What else did you finish? Um, that's it because I have not... I mean, oh, no, I did finish. I made a heart when I went and worked with Christy Glassnitz oh, on nice. her installation thing. But since Laura and, did and you Carly get to were talk there... To her? Yes, I did. I did. Hopefully, we'll set something up for the spring. Very nice. Yes. You want me to talk about what I finished? You should talk about what you finished. All right. So we got a call both at church and at our local yarn store. We've been outside, which is why the hair is all blown out. Um, and uh, the local cancer ward, I think they said it was the Cohen Cancer Ward over at North Shore Hospital, what used to be North Shore Hospital, is now combined with LIJ for Northwell. Look north for health, something like that. Anyway, um, so now they're looking for hats for anyone from age 1 to 21. And so in two days, I made five hats. So I have this hat. Speedy, speedy, speedy. They're all crochet. I can crochet pretty fast. I can't follow a crochet chart, however. Um, so this was what's after worsted? Bulky. Aaron or bulky? This was bulky. And it's a multicolor uh, row in bulky. Uh, that we've been given from somebody and I thought as a happy hat this would be good so this will fit uh, someone who's uh, teenage years pretty well and then I have well look at this I didn't realize I had kind of like shades here mm -hmm. so then my rest are shades of blue and purple it's a lilac -y blue and lilac True oh, lilac. So it's, a, so it's a periwinkle more. Periwinkle. periwinkle. This is peri, And you can see I've made them different sizes. So, and so I've made them very different sizes. So this is the smallest one. So I did this by um, doing the same um, chain into the magic circle. So I do um, 10 double crochets to make my, my first round there, that one. And then I do two, two double crochets in each lower double crochet with the second round and then the third row uh, depending on whether I want to keep going for preemie my third row actually starts um, one one double crochet then two double crochets one double crochet then uh, and then the fourth row in a preemie hat would start it going straight down so in um, this hat then my fourth row became two double crochets two 
one double crochet, one double crochet, is it and two. Is a pattern you made up yourself or a pattern you found? Um, I started making stuff up. <laughs> okay. I was just making stuff up. I was just going to say, because so if it's, it's a pattern that you had, that, no, then we no, should just not no, be selling no. the secret sauce out for free. No, this is one this double is something crochet, mom one just double made crochet, up. Then, then two together, and that was this one. And then the next size up, I went one more row out, uh, row five, and I did one, two, three, and then two doubles together. Um, and so as I wanted to make different size hats. You also I would, used different sized yarn for I most did. of them. I did. Well, I, I lightweight and lightweight. Yeah. So there's a, there's a choice. So I will be giving these in this week. Um, I may go over on Monday afternoon mm -hmm. to do that. Um, so anyway, cause anyway, so we'll, I may have some time Monday afternoon to do that. So I'll run them up there and get them handed in. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. So that's all done. Do we want to move on to what's on our needles or do we want to move on well, to what's on my needles is over there? Well, do we want to talk about what we've gotten in the last week instead first? We can do that. I thought we'd also show what we dyed. Oh, so mom, I believe, showed you this yes. that we dyed with Felicia Lowe of Sweet Georgia Yarns yes, at I, Vogue Knitting Live. So then we went downstairs after the podcast and we made these three. That's right. So that it goes with that. So I'm thinking that it this could be really a yoke, great. and then the rest is the body and the sleeves. So that it's, makes my sweater quantity. It's not the same base, but similar enough. And oh my, I'm just petting it because the the alpaca silk base that we have is just because this is wool or merino and silk. It's merino and silk and mohair. So there's silk that's common between the two of them, so that they should ha behave some of the same. Yeah. And they're all three, all are fingering, so I thought that that would work. Mm -hmm. And then so, we were going to be doing a, uh, a swap in our knitting group. I think um, these are them? Yes. These uh, are things I have not seen. And there's something down there in that bag over there. In the knit bag or the not knit bag? The knit bag. So anyway, we were doing it. trades. Oh, on. and then there's the browns over there. We um, traded seats, if you really want to know. Um, because Mom didn't like the way no, I, the no, light. That, the non-knit bag. Oh, I didn't want, I thought you meant it said knit on the front. I had no idea. No, I meant so anyway, you didn't make that one. Uh, right, I didn't make this so one. I'm this gonna, is a Manhattan oh, College bag. Stuff. I am a devourer of bags. So anyway, one of the women um, at Knit Night doesn't want any yarn coming into the house. So um, I have gotten this, which is Galler's Olympic Supra. And she also gave me a pattern uh, for this, which is somewhere in here. Ah, so it is, it doesn't have a name. It's from Knitter's Magazine. And it's going to be something like that. I have to look and see if that's what I want to do, but it's got multiple kinds of cables and a little bit of lace. And so I actually bought that from her. Um, the one woman who was organizing the swap was ill last week. So swaps could happen if somebody was interested in what you had. And I had three skeins of cephalopod in DK weight, DK mm -hmm. worsted, worsted, DK worsted. DK worsted. Something Traveler like is a more of a DK than... Okay, it was in Traveler, poster. and it was a green, but it was a chartreuse it, going to it emerald was, it, was it, a, was, it was not a color that neither Mother nor I can really wear well. Right, and I only had three skeins. If I had four, I would have had a sweater quantity, so I know what happened. Cephalopod is a company that has gone out of business, I think it was mentioned before, um, and she was doing her last trunk show. Um, two summers ago, three summers ago, three summers ago. Mm -hmm. And I just put my hand out and, and grabbed them, bought them, but grabbed them. Um, but then realized that there really wasn't anything yeah. I wanted to make with them because I didn't have enough for a sweater quantity. So I was able to trade it with one of the other women, um, at, um, knit night. And Tosh. this is Madeline Tosh. Tosh me not, looks like. Uh, I don't have a label. No. So. But it's lovely. It's a single ply. Single, single ply. ply fingering. I believe that's And you can see the differing enough. colors in it. The light's no, picking up well. No, Tosh Light. It's no, Tosh Light, Tosh I light. think. If this is Tosh Light. Tosh Light. And so now I have a sweater's quantity of brown. You don't uh, really have that many brown sweaters. So I don't. And it can be mixed stash. with all kinds of things. That's so if I decided to do something like that or... 
Um, this was out of my bag of things where people have given me things. So I think it's a great, yeah. lovely chocolate brown. Then the same woman who had uh, sold me the yarn for the uh, sweater had in her bag uh, lace weight lopey. Oh, wow. Ein, that is beautiful. Band. And I got It's a beautiful two. Gre tealy green. Tealy it's green. Really... It's not as blue as it's showing up. We're going to have to figure out better lighting situations for color. All right. So this is 50 grams, and it's 273 yards. So I've got 500 plus yards here. Yeah. Um, and mix it with something else, and you've got something to conjure with. You certainly could be holding it double. Um, I wasn't, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to treasure it. That's for sure. And then, um, she had this flock sock and I had actually traded with her a different flock sock. I believe. Hera. You had hair and right. And then she must've given you twilight, twilight, yeah. which is it purple, has, blue and a, it has and, more variegation in a, it. Bit of a black spot right. on each end, which is really beautiful. So it's got more of a variation in it than the one that I had taken in. So that that's great. And then she had these two balls of um, holiday yarns that she had already caked up. I'll take this apart. And said, are you interested? And I said, I know that you have kept these very safe. Um, and so sock quantities of both. I think this is absolutely delightful. That is really um, and this I will love be that. That's like what um that's like the Luna Love Good from Nerd Girl I have. Yeah. So um this is Which really I mean is a cold dead hands. Really game, terrific. But... And um so I have that mm -hmm. and I did not trade for anything else. So that's that's all I got. And so therefore do you have still I still have swap? three or four skeins left. Nice. And then I have some Brooklyn Loft that if no one wants, I'll make a sweater out of because I have eight uh skeins. It's fifty, in gram, 50 skeins. gram skeins. So yeah. eight would be a sweater quantity. And okay. I oh. will either make a sweater out of it or trade because mm -hmm. I I very much like um little paper fox tiny tiny paper foxes, I'll get it right. Um, I'm not really a fan of loft. I actually bought uh, three sweaters quantity worth at one fell swoop. So before I'd actually tried it out yeah. and I find it's, it's very, um, fragile. Um, it, it must yeah. just be the way you knit as well. No, tiny and paper foxes was saying the same, the same Jenny thing. Jenny was? Oh. Yes, she was. Of handmade and woolen. Yes. Uh, she, they recently changed the name of their podcast. Well, she is. Tiny right, but if they don't yes. know that, if they only know Sorry. her as Jenny on Handmade and Woolen, I right. figured I'd let them right. know. Anyway, Jenny and I used to work together at Manhattan College, and um, so I was watching one of the high cuts that she'd made with her mom, and they were talking about Brooklyn Loft, and I... And Brooklyn I Tweed Loft, yes. Yes. I... It, it comes apart really easily. Once you blocked it, it kind of pulls itself together. But um, but you know what? It's one sweater quantity. I can power through this and, and actually make myself a sweater. So are you done with your acquisitions? That's all I've acquired, yes. So oh, I have a friend. What? We were out this afternoon and we acquired an outboard engine. Uh, yes, but that is not. Three and a half horsepower. She's so excited because this means neither she nor father have to row the dinghy at the boat anymore. <laughs> so and it's light. Oh, I'm so excited. I can, I can pick it up. She's so excited about so it. So that's it's a adorable. major acquisition, but I'm not bringing them in the house. No. no. So I know I'm trying to do stash down, and I understand that. But a friend of mine is Preggers, and I'm invited to her baby shower in March. And she and I were in a swap together and, like, we're each other's partners. It wasn't a uh, secret swap, so we knew it. And she loves Zelda, and her husband loves Zelda. And she had said, like, if I ever have a kid, I would love to have a baby link costume. So, uh, well, guess what? So, uh, she might be getting one at her baby shower because I picked up these three skeins that are just perfect. Um, it's Baroque Vintage. It's washable. Washable. Worsted weight. Um, the baby for Halloween should be about four months. Um, all, you know, I mean, should she hasn't good. had the baby yet, so we don't know baby's birthday, so yada yada. Um, so I'm thinking, uh, the pattern calls for size sevens. I'm thinking of size eights just to get that maybe a little bit bigger and then maybe cast on. There's a, there's See a. See what you get with gauge first. Well, and it's also the fact that my sevens, I have 
are all in projects, or it's oh. the the purple needles that have the little doodad that I can't screw in. I tried with pliers. They won't. Oh. It won't go back in. Well, you can write to them. I I intend to. Because they were right. I you know putting mine in the the needle sharpener. Yep. Yeah. You it can was write very to them. Sad. They have pieces. I will. They I do will. have pieces. The hard um, part's getting the needles yes. themselves. So this is this is very exciting. Um, but there's a project on Ravelry that she made it for a six month old. Um, so I think I'm gonna use Follow her that. stitch editions. Um, she did note that it was a little small on the six year old or the six month old. So I'm thinking I might also do the size up uh, needle needle Ooh, size. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, just because cool. I mean. You always want them big, and you know what? She can always put them in the costume for the rest of the and winter. And they can wear a sweater underneath. Yeah, and so, so the... Let's face it, often Halloween, at least where we are, is yeah. hot, cold. Yeah, well, and they're in Seattle, so it's not really cold. So it shows baby, like, pants. I'm not doing that. I'm going to buy her a pair of, like, baby leggings or baby, baby pants. Because cool. I feel like that's just a little bit easier. And also, white pants on a baby. Definitely want those to be extra washable. Yes. Uh, and then, oh, I don't think I can show because spoiler zone. You didn't see that. I didn't so, see it. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure it showed on the screen there. Um, so oh, really? I got my newest random fandom skein. I should have brought last month's because I couldn't show last month's last month. But whatever. We'll get this together. We will one of these days. Um, but it's this month's uh, random fandom from Nerd Girl Yarns. It's on Zen, which nice. is. Uh, merino yak and silk uh and it's glorious just feel it oh wow yeah That's um really it's nice. beautiful it's blues and greens I and yellows love the color. um and i'm going to be getting a second skein from a friend of mine who wants to reorder it in the dk weight ah uh and so i'm going to buy her skein off of her and then i can make a drift uh t-shirt sweater. nice nice because i think a t-shirt sweater well, will be nice out of next this. week uh, I can't show it until the next month. Uh, or we don't post public photos of them until the next month. Okay. Or to the group. I don't know if this right. counts because people posted it to Instagram. So I'm going to show it because it's, it's just, just so beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's called yeah. I Am Iron and I Forge Myself. It's based on um, Vikings, the TV show. Something oh. I've kind of wanted to get into. So like this might be, that might be something I do while I, you know, knit my sweater eventually. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've recently acquired. I also, um, have been knitting a bunch, so I'm trying to, trying to just use some stuff up and not get too sucked into all of the acquiring. Well, I'm just, I, know. I was working on a syllabus, finally got that done, it's been passed. Now it's got to go before the curriculum committee, um, but nice. it, it's going to run in the fall. So do you want to pick up mine? Sure. So here, so what we've been knitting, I'm trying to not, so it's know, Super Bowl Sunday, there. so we're trying to get this kind of efficiently recorded, um, because we do have my grandfather coming over, uh, and we would rather not be have recording while we, or yes. him arriving while we're recording. Right. Um, so yes. All right, so, so this, this is, is my clue one of the schlanket, and this was all from Stash. Um, so this was some thick and thin rowan. That is toothy, the blue, the, the, the green. And this is Ella Ray that I have. That'll be color C. And then I've got, I don't know what this is. It's toothy. Oh, I know. This is the tweed that I got. This is the yarn I got in, in um, Ireland. That would be why and it's I so put, toothy. And I put my hand in and came up with this one. This was the only one that color. And but I'm... But it's beautiful. It'll, this will be a beautiful shawl. I think so. I think so. So here are the three colors together. So I think it would be really nice. And I didn't take it with me when we went uh, to the Br British Virgin on this because I was afraid I actually... I don't know. Somehow I thought I'd lose something. Um, so anyway, I've been... I actually have not been working on that, but it's on the needles. But it's on the plan for this coming up week. Yes, and there's this. This I plan to finish relatively shortly. This is, I know you've heard me talk about um, the global 
Cal. Mm -hmm. It's called Wonders of the World. I think I've finally gotten it right. Okay. Wonders of the World. Wonders of the two. World, Cal. And there's six uh, podcasters that are joining oh in goodness. on this. So there was... Bakery Bears? There's Bakery Bears for Europe. Uh, just Grace. There was Grace who's Babbles uh, in Australia. And she was doing Australia and New Zealand. Now it's Pink Hair Girl. Pink Haired Girl in South Africa. So for um, New Zealand, I made a pair of socks by a New Zealand pattern. And I submitted them. So now I have this. And this is going to be a summer tee. So this is cotton. Um, there's the a ball. This Rowan Calmer. Long, it's no longer made. Um, so I'm sorry to be showing you something that you can't pick up unless it's on D-Stash. But I got mine in D-Stash. In fact, I just got given the bag. The bag is a huge bag over here behind us. So it's Rowan Calmer. Uh, it's 50 grams in a skein. This is color 495. It's a, it's a peachy pink, and yes. then you have, actually, right above my head, you can see the orangey salmon color you yes. have. Uh, it's very funny when they're next to each other, because when they're across the room from each other, you'd expect them to match, but they don't, because the no. one that one is obviously orange, and this one is obviously pink. And there's 175 yards in a ball, and I was, given, I was given 11 or 12 balls, so I have... I have more than enough for this tea, and I had brought the directions up. See. It's up there. Do you see it underneath oh. your blanket? Yes. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so I think this is a paid for paint, paid pattern. for pattern on Ravelry. Speaking, it's called. It is called Willow Sleeveless Top, and it's from the Knitting Station. And it says, Designs by Tracy Schmidtgen. Yes, so she is a South African designer. And for on the boat, um, cotton works the best. So I thought this would be a good boat shirt. And a good boat shirt for when you're going off on Going off to dinner, land. something like that. Because there's some really nice I-cord design. Embroidery kind of look, yeah. There. Which I plan to do in a second color also that was given to me so you can see that it'll be a little bit darker and I think it'll be nice to have the eye cord a little yeah. bit different so I'm working madly on this mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to be knitting on during the game yes we have grandpa coming over I'm making veal and I bought eggplant I've got Italian eggplant Yay, the little eggplant. ones so I'm going to make that up and then I went whole hog and got sweet potato fries so it'll be a great game so my plan for the rest of the month, so your rest of your your month or your week is that and the schlanket? Um, the schlanket is when I get to it because okay. I also have gloves that have to be finished. Yes. Yes, yes. you do. Yes, I do. Um, and I have my owl and my mission. Yes. So I have started. But this is a class. This is my right. sixth class. I think the, the, the link costume is going to be a class. So okay. I am also participating in a cow, the whip it in the butt. Cal from Down Cellar Studios, and for this month, I submitted my Pincha shawl, which I know I've shown you all before, and I only have two leaves done, um, but I need to have done by the 22nd, because, oh yeah, I'm going to Mardi Gras. That'd be great. So this is for my friend who lives down there, who is taking me in for a few days before um, the rest of my cousins get down there, and we have a house the weekend. Did you get to taste any of your tea before you knocked it over? No. No, I did not. Oh, I'm sorry. This is, you know, you said it was going to be too strong, but it's not bad. You want to taste it? A little that's, sweet. I think that's because you added the extra seasoning. Well, I did. <laughs> but yeah. it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. A um, friend of mine who is Indian, um, when she asked me what I wanted for Christmas, after I told her I was making her something, um, I said, I want tea. You know tea, you know tea inside and out. And so she bought me loose leaf tea. And then she bought me make it yourself tea bags. Brilliant woman. Um, and she is, is quite brilliant, what actually. It, she really is. She leaves me in the dust. And uh, this is one of the teas. And I really can't read what it is. So I'm just enjoying them. There's one that I can understand. 
and it's called frost tea and that's where they pick the tea leaves right after the first frost and it's a very light tea it's a tea that I can have in the evening without worrying about having too much caffeine or anything else. This is not one of those. This no. is a full, full body tea, but I couldn't tell you. And she had them lined up when she gave them to me in terms of strength. And then they got jumbled in my bag. Of bag, course. Of yes. Course. And oh, well, but I'm loving each one of them. And so of course, mom made that. me a cup of it. And as I was using the honey straw to put honey in the tea, my hand slipped off the honey straw knocking the tea over all over the kitchen floor because I'm talented. So, so, on the topic of talent, I started my fade. Oh, so this really is pretty. section one. This is in um, spoilers, uh, the colorway spoilers on Bounce and Stomp from Nerd Girl Yarns. Oh, nice. Um, and this is section one. There are 13 sections. So, in order to get this done for, excuse me, mission, I have to do... Three sections by today, which I did not do, but I'm going to work on this during the, during game. the game, I think. Okay, good. We'll see. And then I have to do two sections a week That's to finish. Easy. Yeah, it shouldn't be bad. It does grow exponentially, so we'll see. Um, I may want to borrow that pattern sometime. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then... I know my stains fell in the I have my floor. owl here because I kind of really want to work on it, but at the same time I need to get... All this um, other stuff done. All this other stuff done. What I didn't show you is that I'm still working on How many the lefty. Do you have? I have 23 leaves. Okay. This is the never ending ball of yarn. Yes. It's like the shawl you made solo. Yes. It's the never ending <laughs> ball of yarn. Well, every once in a while you get one of these that you keep working and working. You can see that you're working, but the ball never seems to get smaller. I mean, I'm... it's getting smaller, it's just not going away. <laughs> Well, the one I made for my boss, I thought that thing was just growing at night. Um, I mean, it was the never any ball of yarn. It made a really nice shot. I have nice that shot. much left. Oh, well, that should So be... I think that should only be the rest. I mean, I have, what, this is third row. We have to stop. We have to the grandpa's here now. Soon. I have two more rows until the next leaf. So I'm going to see if that uses up, you know, a significant amount of this. Um, if not, I will then just make another stripe and just we'll have 25. Uh, right. Sounds leaves. good. Um, but that's about all that's on my needles or in my thoughts. I'm obviously trying to be overly ambitious with all of my knitting. But Join me. Gonna... That's crazy yeah. pants. <laughs> um, but yeah, follow us on Instagram for the Yarn Love Challenge. I actually posted this this morning because I forgot to post about it last night. Because I made this and this is the bum hugger out Post-y. of the Nerd Girl uh, rant. Uh, yarn and uh, I myself am strange and unusual and I made this in eight hours uh -huh. so that was my speediest project okay um, and so I took a selfie with it and now I've just been bundled up in it sounds um, good and that's I think about it yeah keep company has along. just come in so we and need to go actually and start dinner but next week yes you'll see us with Stephanie Jean Knits <gasps> cool I forgot about that we need to talk about if we want to have her come to us or us go to her We'll we'll, have we'll to discuss that discuss later. Whatever she wants but to yeah, do. Yeah, she's, I'm easy. She's she's the same way. But um, also follow share the love YB on Instagram. It's run by Christy Glass Knits. Yes. Um, she wants she's knitting or having people also knit hearts uh, for a yarn bomb installation that she wants to put oh, up cool. uh, this month. And it's really interesting. I met up with her on Friday. She had a meetup in Penzi at Penn Station. And that was a lot of fun. I made a heart. I didn't get to sit there and make more because I had friends with me uh, who don't knit. And so I decided not to torture them too much. Uh, and so we went. They humored me. They got drinks. I got a drink too, but I also was knitting the heart. Um, so look out for that. And if you want to um, help her with that, reach out to her. She's Christy. She's got a, a Ravelry group called Christy Glass Knits. She also has a YouTube channel yes. called Christy Glass Knits. Um, and reach out to her and mm -hmm. see if she needs more hearts. Great. Um, I think I'm going to see about doing that just because it's fun. It was that really fun. cute. That's Maybe nice. Maybe we can do a few. Yep. Very nice. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. Have fun with the game.